Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Connie Corso. So I'm here with my two babies that I've got left over. Uh, not left over. This one here is my keeper. This one here um, I had available, but I think I'm actually just going to keep her for now. I really like the way she looks. And um, I'm actually going to give her some time and see see what she does. We'll stack her out. I didn't get good stacked pictures of her before. So I'm um, going to get some better stacked pictures. And, you know, we'll see. Maybe um, maybe I'll keep you too. Maybe I'll keep you too. Um, here we've got Mama Hen and all of her little babies. They're all doing fantastic. Everybody's still alive. It's pretty cold outside, so I've kept them inside. But... I will eventually um, move them out. As soon as they start flying out of here, I'm going to move them out into their own coop. Hello! Um, so now we've got these guys over here. Hello! My mom already going to look alike. Hello, baby. Um, so I stacked them all out again last night. I just love this guy's temperament so much. Like, so much. But structurally, he is just... Oh, he's not there right now. Um, I'm hoping it gets there, but he's so... He's his father's son is what he is right now. Um, you just need to get longer. You need to get longer. Um, uh, stacked out. This guy, he's my most promising male right now. Uh, I really like him. And her, definitely the best female so far. The blue brindle female, I didn't... I stacked her out... They're, they're just very uncomfortable about being stacked right now. They tend to um, arch their back. And so um, it's just it's just tough. Look at you, Tim. You're so cute. You're so cute. I just love you so much. I know. Yes, I do. I want this boy so much. He's so sweet. I just love him. I do. Um, But yeah. Baby, he's the one I saved. You're the one I saved. You're the one I saved. I had him out last night with me, and um, oh my god, he was so funny. He's such a rambunctious little dude. Definitely very outgoing, fantastic temperament. This guy here, you know, same thing. Stacked him out. Lovely rear, but um, I don't know. There's something about his. He reminds me in structure of X Man, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. X Man is a horrible dog. <laughs> so, in structure, he's not very nice. Um, just my opinion. Well, really not my opinion. That's just straight facts, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I just got done. Hello, madman. I just got done feeding and watering them. Um, same thing with these guys here. Pardon on my dirty garage floor. It always gets like this when we're dealing with puppies. Um, I see you madman. I'll show you guys. Come on. Let's go. Um, Hey, Lou. Ain't no baby boy. Where's your baby boy? Who's a baby? Who's a baby boy? He's a baby. He's a baby. Don't you jump on me, punk. Don't you jump on me, punk. Watch out, boy. Don't you jump on me. Um, so I've got... Oh, my goodness. Um, so I've got the puppies in here. Um, I had them separated. I had Preacher separated. Or not Preacher. I had all the adults separated from the puppies, but... Um, the puppies are barking nonstop at the adults, and so I didn't feel like making the neighbors... Ooh, listen to that. Ooh, Venom. He's a dominant dude. Um, may need to separate him soon. So, I, uh, got a... I'll show you guys what I got. Um, Hefe! Let's see if we can get him to jump. Hefe! Hefe! Hefe, Hefe! Ooh! Who's a baby boy, Hefe? Yep. <laughs> okay, so quiet down. So the dogs have been using their dog houses. Thank the Lord. And um, what I got today, yesterday I went to Tractor Supply and um, I got the Patreon money came in. And as promised, as I said, each time I get Patreon, I'm going to go in and buy more kennels. And I haven't gotten the plaque yet, because like I said, it's, you guys, I do so much. And that's kind of why I wanted to do these vlogs, so that you guys can kind of see what I've got going on. Um, but I bought three more of these full-size kennels here. 
These are the five by tens. And then I bought three of the expansion packs, which will make them, I believe the 10 by tens. Um, I've got another one over here that I've yet to put up. Oh, I see you right here. It's actually starting to get warm enough that I feel like I can work. But I'm going to head to the store and get some gloves. And here's my next one. Oh, and I have an expansion pack too. I didn't realize I had an extra expansion pack. That's cool. So, um, so anyway, so yeah, I'm going to set all these up. And they're actually going to be put up. Um, I'm going to put them around the back of the house. Yeah, see, when the, when the breeze hits... Ooh, it's muy frío. Okay. So, who's your big dog? Who's your big dog? Who's your big dog? Who's your happy dog? Who's your happy dog? Who's your happy dog? You go play. You go play. You go play, funny dog. You go. All right. So, who's your big dog? Who's your big dog? Can you want your big dog? Okay. Um. So, what I'm going to do. Hey. Be nice. Oh, it's Venom. Yeah, he needs to be, I'm, I may have to separate him soon. He's very dominant, um, particularly food aggressive. Uh, very, 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 very food aggressive. What are you doing, boy? Psh, what y'all got? What you got? How'd you get that? I'm gonna have to get that. It's like a piece of plastic in there. So um, anyway, I'm gonna build these kennels. I'm gonna move this door this door was in the wrong spot for me to do what I want to do. But I'm going to move this door up here to like right there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, start building kennels off of this. So they'll probably come out to here and then go down. And um, they're going to be um, temporary, not, not, I mean, you know, like more like temporary kennels for like whenever I need to leave or something. They'll still be good sized kennels, but... They're going to be the five by tens, um, but they're going to have a doghouse in them. And basically just if I need to leave, if I need to do something like right now, um, I can trust these guys here like this alone. But um, but these guys I raised with my dogs and all that stuff. And as our program grows and we have dogs that that, you know, don't live under my constant supervision like that, the likelihood is that. Um, I'm going to need to um, separate dogs and not have them together in the way that I am right now. Um, uh, I mean, I want that plastic. Watch out. Psh, psh, ah. Let's see here. Get down. Psh, quit. Off. No. <clears throat> You're going to make me so dirty. Get back. 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 Psh, back. 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 Ah, ah. Back. All right, here we go. Got it. Move. Go. Move. Literally fighting over a piece of plastic. Go lay down. Psh. Ah, ah. Psh, psh. Back. Psh. See if I can get out of here. Ah. One-handed. Not going to happen. All right. Trash over the side. Because I need that hand. And there we go. Let me... Ah get this thing closed. It's quite difficult sometimes. There we go. All right. Pick up the trash. Okay. All right. There we go. Got it. Whew. So yeah, we see you dude. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go out get some, um, weather appropriate stuff. Um, something that's more, um, resilient to, uh, to this weather because I don't really own anything like that oh, and um, yeah that's what I'm going to do so um, I will touch back with y'all later on once we've uh, once we've um, begun working bye hey you guys so continuing on with our day wanted to show you guys a conundrum that I had so what I was gonna do was I was gonna extend some kennels across here because um, I I um 
I wanted them to just, it's, you know, this is just for like more, it was going to be just for more like the immediate dogs, like, you know, these guys, the ones that are in the house all the time. And, um, then I realized that there's a big dead tree right there and, um, it's dangerous. And so it's not dangerous to this kennel because it's too far away. But um, I can't put anything here because there's no telling, you know, how it would go. I mean, I technically could probably put something. No, no, because like literally just just the other day, I just got to see how when a dead tree comes down, it'll oftentimes take down live trees. So can't count on the live tree to catch it. Hey, Velocity. So I've had Velocity with me today. She's my my co-pilot for the day. Look at baby girl. Look at your baby. Um... So I put uh, my mortigan. Yes, I see you. A funny girl. You're a funny girl. You're a funny girl. Yes, you are. Did you funny velocity? Did you funny girl? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So, anyway, um, so don't you dare try to rain on me. Just trying to sprinkle. Don't you ever. Okay, so <clears throat> realizing the tree was dead, knowing that I need kennel space, and I've always been drawn to this area. Um, and reason being is that they've already got this, this, um, whoa, that's too close. Well, there you go. There's the ground. In case you were wondering what the ground looks like here, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> so... So anyway, um, yes, there is grass in it now, but, um, hold on. I'm trying to get my, there we go. I have gloves on. So, um, so anyway, so, um, so it's kind of already set up for something more like this. You know what I mean? The earth is trying to take it back, but we can take it back from the earth again. <laughs> um, so. What I realized as I was thinking about it, because in my mind, in my mind, I was thinking that if I put them here, they would be closer to my neighbors. And there's this break in the trees here, um, all the way down. And so I thought, you know, like, um, see, all the way down yonder. So I was thinking to myself, like, well, you know, um, you know, maybe the neighbors will complain or whatever, but then I realized that I, I looked at the Google Maps and basically both of my neighbors are over there. One of them is like right here. The other one's way down. In fact, the one that was complaining is way, way back that way. So the fact that my dogs are back there is worse because it's closer to them. And I was really thinking about it. And I was like, I had my radio. I don't know if you can see my... Let me see, is it going to do it? No. There we go. So you can see my radio out there. Um, I was listening to it and I had it pointed in that direction. Because that's the way I was going to be working. Before I realized I was going to put the kennels here. And I realized that I really couldn't hear the music very well over here. And I don't know what it is. But I do know that I often hear an echo um, with my dogs back there. And if you look, there's a, there's a, um, it's like a, it's a decline. It's not an incline. I guess a, a, it's a decline, whatever. Apparently I can't think right now. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm just weirding myself out. Not sure. Feel free to correct me in the comments. I know someone will. <laughs> but um, anyway. It is, it just gets, it, there's just like a dip down there. And I'm wondering if that's what's creating the echo because I don't hear it over here. And there's like a lot of road noise too. And so, and I don't have any neighbors over there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving my kennels over here. So I'm gonna line them up here. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I was looking, I already have this fence in here, and all I have to do is come in here and clean out all this in here, and then just utilize what's already here. 
and um, just build some kennels in here. And I actually think that it's going to be a really good idea. It's going to take a lot of work to clear it out, but, um, you know, I really think it's going to be a good idea. And I'm going to keep this, I'm, I'm basically going to keep that barrier, but then I'm also going to create the kennels like within here, um, just to keep it double barriered. Cause I obviously don't want, I want to be very careful with my dogs. So, but anyway, I feel quite pleased with myself over this because it's, it's, a, it's just a lot quieter this way. I don't know why or what, but um, there's something about the geography over there is causing an echo that I think is worse than if I just had my dogs over here, which seems like the wrong idea because it's so open, right? Like it, it seems like it would be, but like, do you see, I can hear my dogs back there because there's just this definite echo. It's going to be so much work moving all those kennels. Uh, <laughs> do you have got anyway, that's just going to be wild. I'm literally going to have to take them apart, move them, put them back together. Okay. All right. There it is. So anyway, well, just wanted to show you guys where I'm at, what's going on, the progress that I'm making and how I'm making it. So anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog series. <laughs> um, I wish I could do more stuff with the dogs, like behavioral stuff. But the truth is, is that I just, I have, I'm kind of one of those people that when I start working, it's very, it's not good for me to to do other things because it's hard for me to get back into the mode of what I was doing. And, um, and so I like to just stay focused on what I'm doing. And so it's hard for me to break free from that, to, to bring out all the dogs and then manage them and do this video and then put each of them up individually. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a lot. Um, particularly whenever I'm trying to get a lot of work done and I don't have that much, um, daylight as the, um, as the times change and, um, also the weather is getting worse. And so I really am trying to make sure that I get everybody set up, um, with their dog house. Um, so far the dogs have been doing fantastic with that. The barn stays much warmer than the outside air, much warmer. So really happy about that. Um, but even the outside, um, kennels are fine. Um, we've had literally below zero temperatures lately, um, at nighttime, at least zero and slightly below zero. no below freezing not below zero below freezing um yeah that was the wrong thing for me to say um we're not in the arctic <laughs> so but anyway but yeah um we've had a couple days below freezing and so um or nights so uh the dogs have been doing really good everybody's you know doing just fine but we do have those igloos which are really fantastic for the dogs and then um we've got hay and that helps them as well and, um, and then of course, like I said, we're going to get these kennels built. So anyway, um, also I've decided upon what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do these, my kennels. I'm going to, I'm basically going to put them on raised, um, um, like a raised, like a platform is what I want to do, but we'll see. But basically what's important is that the, um, I want the kennels, yeah, yeah, no, they're going to be on a raised platform. So basically, I'm going to have the, uh, um, like a, I don't know, like a porch almost, like a platform built, like a, like a, um, like a big one, but it's going to be that fake wood. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to put the kennels, basically, I'm going to secure the kennels onto it. And so we're, I won't lose any height from the kennels by, from putting it on there. Um, and then um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have just a bunch of like um, lime and sand and like, you know, just like layers of stuff underneath it to, to you know, for any pee or anything that goes underneath there. Um, and I'd like to have them where they can actually be like moved. Um, I, I did see some stuff recently. Somebody sent me of these like kennels on a, on um, almost like a sled, but, um, but anyway, but I, the idea being that if I wanted to have pay somebody to watch my dogs, um, what I could do is, 
um, I could have an automatic feeder and waterer and then have somebody just come over and just externally fill that up if it, if necessary. And then what they can come and do is basically spray out the kennels and then clean up the poop on the sides, basically. So as the poop slides off of the, the platform, they can just come with a poo-poo picker up or whatever and just clean it up. And so it's always clean. So they just come out once a day, spray off the kennels, um, you know, uh, make sure the dogs have food and water, make sure everything's okay and then boom, it should be perfect. So really excited about that. Um, so anyway, so that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna get back to work. Um, yeah, it's a lot. And Savannah, eh, 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 no, Velocity, come. Get over here now. I don't know what you're into, but I don't like it. Let's go. So um, what was I gonna say? Um, Oh yeah, Savannah is over at Morgan's house. Um, there, she's having a whole weekend visit over there, so it's just me this time. Alrighty. So anyway, okay, all right, I'm done. See y'all later. Bye. Hey, you guys. So this will be the final segment of today's vlog. I'm gonna show you guys what I got done. So I decided on um, what I originally said, which is the ten by tens. There's my velocity. Velocity! What's wrong with you? There's your booty boo boo. She's been watching. She's been making sure I'm alright. Here's my trash pile. Don't judge. Okay, here we go. So, we got the doghouse in each one. And, um,. And then we got the 10 by 10s. And so what I want to do is um, is I want to rise these up um, on these on these platforms. And then I want to have the doghouse itself rose up again, like on its own kind of box. Um, and maybe I'll do like a little ramp to it or something. And... Um, and then it'll have, um, I think I'll probably have like half of this thing um, covered. And, um, or maybe just the area where the dog, I think I'll just do with the area where the dog house is. So probably like a triangular, like a corner, you know what I mean? Like put this thing in the corner and do that kind of thing. And the reason being is that I want it up off the ground so that it can be sprayed out without getting the dog house wet. Um, it's also better just to get it off the ground for the weather. And, um, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to insulate that area that, um, that I put it in. And so, um, so it'll be raised up and then I'll have like, I think what I'm going to do is basically, um, good Lord. Um, somebody's out there shooting it up. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out how I'm going to do it. But, um, but anyway, but basically I'll probably have it. Maybe I'll do like a, like a sideways thing. That's probably what I'll do. Like a ramp up and then have it be in the side. Cause the high, um, even having this thing close to the walls, um, I think the dogs can jump out. So I kind of had to have it centered. So if, when I raise it, there needs to be a roof over it, but I don't want the whole thing covered because, um, I do want to be able to, you know, for these things to be able to get, um, you know, like water to kind of flush things out and stuff like that. So, um, but anyway, but overall I do want them to have an area where they can get out of the weather as well. So I've got two more dog houses. I've got another kennel over there. Um, I didn't get to the one by my car yet, so I'll be able to build another one tomorrow with the door and then I have enough to build because I've got extra pieces because I, I put them together. So, um, so anyway, so I'll be able to, to, uh, to, if I take, if I take, um, I may not do that. So we'll see. I don't know. So anyway, so that's what I've got, um, for now. So yeah, that's, um, we're getting started. So this will go all the way down and um 
and then around there um, and then I don't know I may not I may only bring it down like as far as that just for the sound and then um, and then do you know the the area over there I guess we'll just have to see yeah I hear you velocity so anyway um, I'm gonna go I've got to feed the dogs so I've got a cart that I grab and I I fill it with um, I take a a dog food holder and I fill it up with food and then we take the bowls and then everybody eats so um, and then tomorrow I'll be cleaning kennels because it's kennel cleaning day tomorrow so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the um, this vlog and kind of seeing what I've been up to so the sun's about to go down um, I did have some of the dogs out you can see them <clears throat> we'll go back there Do 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 Okay. They are awfully quiet. Got an extra dog house out here too. Forgot about that one. Alright. So we got Sookie and my Mortigan together. And um, no, she's she's not in heat. We just got them together just so they could run and play. We got Trinity and uh, Batista. And, um, and then I've got Tamara. And Don Juan. Oh, his his ears are starting to stand. That's cool. Trinity, shh, quiet. Ah, Trinity, stop it. Ah, no, you stop. Chill out. Shh, no, Tamara, chill out. Shh, chill out. So anyway, um, this is uh, hey, quiet down, quiet down. So this is all going to get taken down um, tomorrow, hopefully, and um, hopefully tomorrow because I've got somebody um, coming over with a with a truck, and I asked them they're going to be um, doing something else on the property, so I, I asked them if I could use the truck. So hopefully they'll let me do that, and then I'll disassemble these, which is like so annoying. And then I will reassemble them. Um, I will reassemble them um, in the front of the house. So I can totally hear the echo here, big time. So anyway, well, um, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna get to work, and we gotta we gotta dump that out and uh, over there. And um, grab food bowls up, feed everybody, put everybody up, and then we'll just go from there. So, anyway, y'all have a good day, and I'll talk at you later. Bye!